Now to a CBS4 I-Team investigation into spending at the Miami-Dade Police Department. Its environmental unit is in charge of cracking down on illegal dumping. So why is it buying equipment that's more fitting for a SWAT team? CBS4's Jim DeFeedy investigates. In Miami-Dade County, illegal dumping is a time-honored local pastime. Tires, old furniture, construction debris, it's everywhere. Which is why Miami-Dade residents are fortunate to have one of the best-funded environmental crimes unit in the state, if not the nation. Flush with cash from the Environmental Protection Agency, as well as hundreds of thousands of dollars in court fines levied against local polluters, the unit's mission is to track down and arrest individuals and companies that violate state and federal environmental laws. But a CBS 4i team investigation raises serious questions about how the environmental trust fund dollars are being spent. Reviewing hundreds of purchases over the past few years, the I-Team found the trust fund being used for items that have little to do with investigating environmental crimes. Previous reports showed that six hybrid SUVs worth almost $300,000 were purchased with trust fund dollars and given to the department's top brass, including former police director Robert Parker. Even Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Alvarez was given one of the hybrid SUVs for a short time. But the CBS 4 i team found the number of vehicles bought and leased using trust fund dollars is actually closer to $900,000. Nearly half a million dollars in computer equipment, $180,000 in travel expenses, and $10,000 in subscriptions to DirecTV have been purchased through the trust fund. One of the more curious expenditures took place here at Lou's Police Supply in Hialeah. According to records, the environmental unit spent almost $20,000 purchasing 30 Smith & Wesson assault rifles and another $15,000 on sniper scopes. Why the environmental unit would need to be equipped like a SWAT team is not clear. But it is one of the questions that both the Miami-Dade Inspector General's office and the EPA's Inspector General are now investigating. Both agencies are trying to determine if Miami-Dade is using the environmental money to bankroll other activities within the cash-strapped department. Under its agreement with the federal government, both the department director and the local EPA chief must sign off on all purchases. But if you look at the memos authorizing the purchase of the SUVs, the word for, F-O-R, appears next to the signature, meaning someone other than the EPA official actually signed it. Even Parker's name is nothing more than a squiggly line. So who actually signed the authorization? For weeks, the CBS 4i team has been asking anyone here at the Miami-Dade Police Department to go on camera and answer our questions about this trust fund. But so far, they've refused. Reporting from Miami, I'm Jim DeFeedy, CBS 4 News. If you have news or information you'd like us to investigate, please call the CBS 4 I-Team hotline at 305-471-0404, or you can go to our website and email us a tip at cbs4.com slash I-Team. It's a big day for boaters tomorrow.